क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी नेसेसिटी ऑफ अ इनर लूप कंट्रोल इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल ऑफ अ डीसी मोटर स्पीड कंट्रोलर ऑफ अ डीसी मोटर बाय यूजिंग अ इनर लूप नाउ इन इनर लूप व्हाट वी डू वी मेजर अ स्पीड एज वेल एज अ आर्मेचर करंट नाउ व्हाट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस इनर लूप दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो so this is the diagram we have studied in the previous uh, video where i have explained you what is the requirement of all this block now here in this video i am going to explain you what is the requirement of a uh, inner loop now suppose if you are only providing a speed as a feedback you have only this as a feedback loop and you don't have a inner loop that is what we were doing in the previous closed loop control now in this case if you are major if you are continuously measuring a speed of a motor and motor is continuously rotating correct but at some point if you connect a load a huge load to that particular motor due to connection of a load at a sudden it will uh, slow down the speed of the motor are you getting my point if motor is rotating at a continuous speed and the taco generator is continuously measuring the speed and feeding it back to the input side correct and that will be a dc output voltage between 0 to 10 but if you connect a load the maximum load to the motor all of suddenly then the speed of the motor will drop down for some time now due to dropping of the speed this taco generator will measure the drop down speed that means if previously you were working on a 10 volt if it is it was generating 10 volt due to the connection of a load it will go to the 8 volt and if it is giving 8 volt that means here if you are providing 8 volt as a dc meter and here the set speed is a 10 volt then it will generate an error it will generate an error that is that that uh, that error will be that the speed should be increased because you are getting the actual speed is 8 that means it is lower than the reference voltage so if that is the input fed to the speed controller what it will give you command as a it will uh, it will show you that my armature current should be increased correct because i want to increase the speed so my armature current should be increased so it will increase the amount of current here it will increase the amount of current now i am talking about only having a speed feedback i am not having the current controller so in that case now here we are assuming that we only have a speed feedback we don't have a current feedback that means it will give you feedback that my speed should be increase and accordingly action will be take place and speed will be increase now till then after connecting load after some point of time your speed will come back to its desired level because when you connected a load it goes down till 8 volt but after some time it will again come to the, its original level that is a 10 volt but at that particular time uh, it is fed back as a 8 volt that means now your uh, whatever the action will be take plus that will be error because you are working on 10 volt you are working on a 10 volt speed that means it is generating 10 volt but if it is uh, telling you to increase the speed your speed will be increased beyond the 10 volt and that will be the dangerous so to avoid that you should have one more parameter other than speed that can be major because even though if you connect the load your speed will vary whether it will increase or decrease but your armature current will remain as it is it will not change so if you are fading back the speed as well as current what will happen if speed is lesser than the required speed but you are actually working on 10 volt speed only and it is giving you 8 volt because it was reduced for that point of time so even though if it generate error it will send the current correct now it will compare the current with this armature current feedback and it will measure because armature current will not change it will remain same so it will come to know current controller will come to know what to do and depending on that it will assume that the speed is okay and it will again measure and then it will send you the again the second feedback so that means here because of having the armature current feedback your 
uh, wrong actions will not your wrong actions will be avoided basically and your speed will speed will be maintained for that particular motor that is the use of the inner control loop that is, that is the necessity of having the inner control loop thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekida do subscribe ekida thank you so much